So between what's stacked on this pallet and in that crate, and then a few more of the corners pieces, that's 330 of these rails that we'll be doing every couple of weeks. What I do is board these holes. Those are inch and an eighth through one quarter inch. And then the other side, if you'll notice, that's a one inch thick bar. Those are five eighths holes. So through the surface of this, which is quarter inch and this, it's an inch and a quarter of aluminum. So it takes quite a while to cut all these holes. But the gentleman who came to me said that they were hand drilling them and that it took him nine days to do 150 of them. So when the guy came to me, he said that they had been drilling the holes manually and it was taking them forever. And I said, CNC is definitely the way to go with this. I've not cut aluminum before, so I have to do a little more research, contact the company that makes my machine, Shop Saber, and I got in the group and I asked all the experts. And uh, so everybody was telling me different things. They said, of course, that you want to make a fixture um, so that it won't move around. And so that's the, one of the first things I did is I built a fixture for the small pieces and then I built a fixture for the long rails. Well, I was cutting them separately and that's pretty much double the amount of work. So then what I did is I uh, told him to go ahead and weld them together and I'm gonna try to do them together. Only problem is the 3 8 aluminum bit that I'm using is an, it has a one and an eighth cutting edge and I needed to cut through an inch and a quarter of material. Well, it's working and it's not having a problem. So I'm using alcohol uh, for cooling. I am using this stuff, 70% isopropyl alcohol, works fantastic. I also built a uh, misting system. It's air powered and electric powered. The one from the company that makes my machine was like $1,500. Uh, I was able to get this unit for about 110 on Amazon. And then, uh, you know, I had to make all the brackets myself, uh, tap all the holes and make the, the mounts for the sprayers and everything. It's even with the remote control, it only ended up costing me $125 total. Uh, in comparison to $1,500. It may not be as pretty as the one from the factory. And I have to hit a remote control every time I want to turn on and off the alcohol. But it's still, to me, worth the savings. This job is supposed to be for three to four years. And so I figured, you know what? I'll go ahead and spend the money putting together a really good fixture. Took a lot of plywood to make this because it's so thick, about over two inches thick. But if you'll look at the videos that I'm gonna post on it cutting, you'll see what a great job it does. So don't limit yourself to just soft materials with your CNC router, you can cut soft metals like aluminum, brass, and copper. I've also cut some copper, uh, 1 8 inch copper plate that I made some logos for one of my Harley Davidsons. Um, I broke a couple of the small bits while doing it, but you know, unless you try, you'll never know whether you can get something done or not. And you can certainly save a lot of money doing it yourself and be a whole lot more creative in the process. Anyhow, let me know what you think.